É o que? Itamex Kanatani. Good morning. It is about 8 a.m. on Monday, the 26th of August, 2024. In the last quarter of the lunar cycle, Bucky Pists Oats at HP, which is the fourth of our five summer moons. I mean, summer is starting to come to a close. It's getting there. Hey, Tay, we're feeling it. It's starting to get cold at night. I had to close the window last night even in the bedroom, which normally I keep open specifically to cool down the house overnight. That wasn't going to happen. This dog is really ready to, ready to roll, do her walk. The other day, this crazy dog jumped out the window. I had it open like this. We were driving down the road by the uh, near the the dog run on the edge of the coolies, and um, this crazy dog jumped out the window, <laughs> running after a deer at 50 kilometers an hour. Didn't phase her. <laughs> well, it phased her a little bit, but it didn't hurt her. Didn't injure her. Uh, she's a lucky dog, I guess. Hopefully never does that again. <laughs> it startled her, that's for sure. <laughs> um, headed over to Tim Hortons right now. Gonna grab a coffee, and Taylor gets a milk bone when we go there. Um, there was one week where, one or two weeks where they were handing out individually saran-wrapped milk bones when you went through the drive-thru with your pet. Um, and then they stopped, hey, doing that. And Taylor was expecting from then on still to be able to get her milk bone when we went to the drive-thru. She'd get all excited. And so a couple of times we went through, no, no bone. She was excited and disappointed. <laughs> then I decided to buy some milk bones. So I have a supply. So if Tim Hortons doesn't give me one, I have one to give her as if uh, she got her through the drive-in window. <laughs> so we're going to go do that right now, go down to the river and have our walk, and then get my day started. I've got lots of projects today um, to work on, and probably a little bit of film from the past uh, week or so with rattlesnakes and or skunks and raccoons and etc tried to make a video the other day I just wasn't happy with the full day's content so I never never edited it together and all of that but we'll try today see where the round leads us and um, yeah we'll get it on hey Tay starting at Tim Hortons Canada's Dunkin Donuts <laughs> camera up here. Oh, of course you're gonna get the, a little bit of the view of this contraption, but nothing I can do about that, sorry. Can I get a medium coffee with a shot of chocolate? A medium coffee with a vanilla shot? No, a chocolate shot? Just, just black with the shot of chocolate. All right, 245 there. Thank you. Finding my, finding my 245. I better get Taylor's bone right. Hello. Thank you. Here's your bone. 
Good girl. Don't drip it into my drinks, please. Thank you. All right, sit down. Sit down now. That's it. That's all. <laughs> yeah, sit down, Tay. We're gonna go to the park. Come along, Tay. Yeah, I don't know what all video I've got from the last week. I know there was at least um, one or two rattlesnakes that I've dealt with that I got on video. Maybe a, a raccoon or a skunk or something. Um, I'll see when I got my editor open what I've got here, but I'll show you what I do anyhow. <laughs> um, yeah, season's definitely turning out here kind of the uh, last of the summer now it's gonna be the leaves are gonna be falling before too long <laughs> maybe today we'll go check out a snake den or two see if the rattlesnakes are returning pretty sure they are the they've already given birth so the movement should be underway. Taylor just loves her morning dip. <laughs> All right, let me show you some footage from the past week. Check it out. This is the release of the rattlesnake you just saw me pick up at the country club. I'm doing a little audio voice over here because the original footage had uh, music playing in my truck. In particular, uh, the new Eminem song. <laughs> or one of them. Anyway, just releasing this nice snake and we'll move on to the next clip. Golfers.
Well, good morning. Oh, you're not very happy. Eat omelet, Skinatony. Setting up the other trap here. Well, homeboy raccoon chill. All right, grumpy, let's go. Good morning. What's that? I have something to do. Okay. You get you get what? Two skunks. Two skunks? Like in the back of my shed. Yeah. I can throw some straw and some blankets and some food. Where the hell are your shoes? I don't wear shoes a lot in the summer. <laughs> He's a big one, yeah? Yeah, that's a good size right too. He's a ring an adult. So I make dishcloths, so those are for you? Oh, nice, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I set another trap. It's two for so, two, eh? Yeah. We shall see how many we get. <laughs> What's your total now? That's uh, seven uh, in the last couple of weeks out of this park. Yeah. Yeah, and just in this, you know, just in this little strip here. Well, he's not as wild as the one yesterday. No, he's not too, not too ferocious. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get the shed ready for some skunks. Awesome. Have a good day. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Relax, it's gone. Back to Moon Day Current and um, just going over in my head all of the different things that I need to do today is quite a bit. Um, I need to set a couple of traps, a porcupine trap and a skunk trap. I got to uh, get some things from my downstairs storage and bring them to Mahoney at the university. Um, I'm clearing out, I've been clearing out my downstairs storage for a new tenant who's moving in on the first. Um, and I'm making that space available to him as part of his lease so I've got that going on I've got to go to the post office mail out a uh, portable scanner to a woman in Siksika who bought it from me off Facebook market um, I got to go over to my friend's place and do a bit of stucco work uh, I need to make a phone call to a financial assistance organization um, to help me get on a basically a government consolidation plan take my credit and tax debts and uh, freeze them at their current principal with no further interest but uh, have a payment plan and just basically fuck credit for the next seven years or so it's like a bankruptcy that I need to do but I'm at that point I've hit a wall um, with my credit line where it's just, I'm paying a thousand plus a month just in interest. It's not, it's not survivable. <laughs> so I got to do something about that. I should do that today because it's almost the end of the month and I haven't made my payment for my credit debt this month and it's going to 
just stack more like Tetris now. Um, not that it hasn't been, but I've been neglecting to do anything about it because I've been frozen by my by my overwhelming anxiety about it all. <laughs> but today is one of those days where I can feel the Prozac working on my mind, you know, that even though I have the same um, things to be, to feel s sorry for myself about, and I got all the stuff that normally causes me big anxiety, but the Prozac that I'm taking is, uh, is helping relieve me of really, uh, freaking out about panicking about all of that and it's making it so that I can function a bit better I'm not fully functioning yet um, even on the Prozac which is another thing I need to do is call my doctor and see if uh, see if he can switch me on to uh, something like Wellbutrin or something more modern of SSRI now that I know what the stuff does for me. He had originally refused to put me on a prescription. I had to source the Prozac myself. Hey, um, On the streets. The mean streets of Lethbridge. <laughs> but in any case. And then we got um, stick fighting. End of the day with noms. And we're going to do that on the west side today. Somewhere by the university. So... I gotta go, in fact, I gotta go over to the um, liquidation center and see if they got any pool noodles left. And try to uh, hook up a staff with pool noodles. And uh, Noms is thinking also it would be cool if I made myself a shield. So I'm gonna try to think of a way to do that too. Any case, lots to do today. We'll see if we can get it all, all done. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. That's the thing is, um, while I'm get, while I'm somewhat more functional mentally, it's still a. Do I have the energy and the motivation to do all that I need to do, or all that I should be doing? I don't know, but. Oh. Just go through it as best I can today. So we are doing the round. Um, gonna bring Taylor home, maybe have a bite to eat, then hit the road and start doing that stuff and I'll bring the camera with. Yeah. Hello? Hi. Gerard Diggins on the line uh, about uh, raccoon removal. Okay, yeah, you can put them through. Alrighty. Da, da, da. Go ahead, Pete. Hello. Hello? Hey. Yeah, this hey. is this is Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I have a there's a raccoon family. I don't know if they're still up there, but they were in my attic. Okay. Okay. Um so I can I can come and set you up with a trap, and we can start trapping them for the week. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'd be awesome. Okay. Um, the the charge for it is thirty dollars for the trap rental for the whole project, and then ninety dollars okay. per animal. So, just so you know. Um, Great. Okay. So did you did you give dispatch your address? Yes. Okay, so I'll just grab it from them and I'll, I'll come uh, probably in about two hours or so. I'll, I'll be out setting new traps. So I'll oh, come, great, okay. I'll, I'll come set you up. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. All right. Yeah. All right, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, we got, we got traps to set few traps to set. Skunk, porcupine, and raccoon. A little bit of everything today. <laughs> now we just need a rattlesnake. So I went to the house. It was over there for about an hour or so. 
um, getting together the things for the to bring over to the university which now I found I can't bring them over there because Mahoney is not there today she's at home waiting for a locksmith for something <laughs> I have no idea but uh, she's not in her office so even though I've got all the stuff loaded up in the truck I'm not bringing it today um, but we do got some other things to do starting here Chopper's Drug Mart where we have our local post office and I'm mailing out the uh, portable scanner to my Facebook Marketplace client from Siksika. And then we're gonna go set some traps. This is our first place. This is a house where there had been some raccoons living in the crawl space and they may still be. They may still be living in there, and I'm betting they're getting up via that cedar right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Good. So I'm betting they just come right up and down this tree. Yeah, that's kind of what I was, I was talking to my wife about. That's too. Yeah. If you like around the back of the house, you can see the hole that they've pulled out and down this like the stuff underneath is called. They yeah. Down and got up into the attic and like in the top part of the roof. Yeah, that's what they normally do. They find one of those pinch corners and they just push into the soffit. Yeah, you know. That looks like you know, soffit. That's it. Cool. So yeah. Well, cool. I'll set up a trap right here where they come down and start feeding then and okay. just monitor it and. Give me a shout when there's something in there. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it looks like there's like a mom and three, three babies. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and they usually have letters, but yeah, but like that. Okay. Our next trap to set is a skunk trap. Just over here. And she didn't tell me where the skunk is living yet, so we'll just check her out. Probably under the front step, unless she's got a shed in the back. I imagine. Uh, yeah, I don't see any hole here. Okay, let's ask. <coughs> oh, you here for the skunk? Yeah, where, where, where is he about, or where have you been seeing him? Under the deck. Under the deck out back? Out back, yeah. All right, I'll go set up a trap back there. If that's All right. right. wide open for what happened to my milk bone did it fall through my pocket <laughs>
hold on. My pocket has a hole in it. Sometimes stuff goes right out the hole. Maybe I just have to go grab another one from the truck. Anyway, that's where we're setting that skunk trap. So if it's around, oh shit, it is in my pocket. If this skunk is around, I don't know why I couldn't feel it in there before. <laughs> if he's around, we'll catch him up pretty quick. Yeah, start using milk bones instead of the uh, expensive kibble that I normally use or was have been using. I can get a whole thing of milk bones at the dollar store for a couple of bucks, you know, and that's a lot of bait. So, and Taylor likes the milk bones too. <laughs> so it all works. Anyway, um, now off to set a porcupine trap. Same or stupid raccoon or whatever no, it is. No, no, it couldn't be because I took that one a long ways away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. It's, I'm not going up there. I said <laughs> I'll stay in the car and wait till you come because I got stuff for the mouse thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, He's got a mouse issue for too, for hey. Going out. Yeah. No worries. Do you think we can do to keep the animals away? Not for porcupines, really. They'll just crawl over everything. So oh, yeah. I just cleaned up all the poop on the weekend. Now he has a mouse in the house. I said, I'm not going in your house. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thanks. Have a good one. You bet. And keep in, just, yeah, just let me know when there's yeah, one in there. He, 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 he's back in school now, so uh, he'll keep an eye. Okay. okay so Perfect. Thank you. That's the uh, resident's mom. All right. It's probably attracted to these crab apples. Yeah, I just set up like right here on the ground. They seem to come to this crab apple tree and stay under the guy's back deck. That lock? There we are. All right. Today, I'm gonna try baiting this with a carrot. underneath the foot pad, otherwise the foot pad will go down, and an ear of paper corn. That should get a hungry porcupine's notice. Okay. All right. That is all the traps we got to set. Now I think I need to go buy some pool noodles, an expansion foam, maybe a garbage can lid as a shield. <laughs> yeah, we'll go get a few things and then we gotta go over to my friend's house and do some work. Canadian Tire. Head in here and pick up some expansion foam and look at their garbage can lids. <laughs> oh, tis the season. Right on. I love Halloween season. It's the best. I better look through this stuff. <laughs>
Well, apparently I can't just get a garbage can lid, right? You have to get the whole setup. Yeah. All right. So that idea, probably gonna have to play with something else for a shield. We'll see what's at the uh, at the liquidation center when we're going next. Bianca Amor's Liquidation Super Center. A wonderful place for all kinds of bargain shopping. a shield <laughs> I'm thinking a shield I can cut out of one of my martial arts mats even potentially hmm. uh, damn I'm not seeing any pool noodles So, I found pretty much nothing that I intended to find at Bianca's. They didn't have the, um, the pool noodles that I wanted. So, but I did buy some things. <laughs> I bought some uh, men's multivitamin chewies. I bought some, uh, what else did I get there? I bought some more, um, Caramels. I've been eating these caramels every week. Oh, this guy's gonna pull in right here next to me. This bunch of other waste cans available. Whatever. Um. Anyway, so I ended up going to my friend's house, filling in those gaps that she wanted filled in in the walls in the basement with some expansion foam and then uh, haul in a bunch of garbage for her over here to the dump. I think after this I'm going to just head home, make some dinner, maybe have a little bit of a nap or something before I go stick a fight with noms. We'll see. It's o'clock in the afternoon and uh, Figured that I would get back into Ghost of Tsushima for an hour or so. Jin looks for allies as he devises a strategy to breach the Khan's defenses and rescue his captured uncle, Lord Shimura. Oh, yeah, he's right. 